Andy Mogul. A lot has changed. The latest Fast and Furious movie has a pretty clever tagline, new model, original parts. But what they neglect to add is that apparently those parts don't fit any other cars. Yep, after the original The Fast and The Furious in 2001, Vin Diesel decided he was too cool for the franchise and took the exit ramp. Likewise, Paul Walker drove off after Too Fast, Too Furious. But these two gentlemen were mistaken. Fast and Furious was their exception, not their norm. And it took colossal box office failures like The Pacifier, Babylon AD, Timeline, and The Lazarus Project to convince Diesel and Walker to return to the vehicle that made them famous. However, while they might be back, does Fast and the Furious have any road left to cover? After all, the franchise has been making increasingly less money with each new movie. But if there's even the slightest chance that money can be made, Hollywood finds a way. Fast and Furious is an integral, taking place between Too Fast, Too Furious and Tokyo Drift. Yeah, you know what? This franchise isn't really about continuity. It's good-looking people driving good-looking cars. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Sounds pretty intense. Have you seen all the Fast and Furious movies? I have. I like the first one the best, but you know, Tokyo Drift wasn't so bad. Good music, a solid lead in Lucas Black, and I always enjoy seeing Tokyo. How would you rank the Fast and Furious movies? Write your answer down below and I'll see you after the break when this movie gets out. This week on Wii PC TV. You familiar with photosynth? If we had photosynthesis, I could find my keys. So we, we don't have photosynthesis because we're not plants. This is only useful to me when I'm stalking my ex-boyfriend. Wii PC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside. My name's Dan, and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mogul. After eight years, is the franchise still Fast and Furious? This is the best one, actually. The movie could now be better than it was. Since it relates to me more, because it took more of like a Hispanic kind of theme, I rated the best one. It had everything. It had action packed from the beginning to the end. I was like, oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god. It had a lot of action, and the cars were great. Why do you guys see these movies, for the cars or the actors? The cars. How about both? Cars. The cars. The cars. cars. The cars. The cars, mostly. Do they have some good cars in this movie? Yeah, they do, and I was a little surprised the way they made, they made the Scion, I mean, like one of the Scion cars, which I never thought would be a fast car. Who do you like better, Vin Diesel or Paul Walker? Paul Walker, but Vin Diesel's a great a great villain. Vin Diesel do some good movies, but Paul Walker's more, to me, of a well-rounded actor. Vin Diesel, I'm a big fan of his. Oh, what do you like about him? He's gorgeous. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. He's hot. Vin Diesel is my baby daddy. You know, Vin Diesel was a big star when the movie first came out in 2001. Now he's trying for a comeback. Do you think he deserves a comeback? Yeah, I think he does. I think he's an important part of the movies. So far, it looked like he, he's earned his comeback. He's doing good now. He was really good in this movie? Yes, he was. Is the, this the start of the summer blockbuster season or just an appetizer? I think this is an appetizer. This might have started it early off early because this is going to do good in the box offices. Ooh, how do you think that? I could tell just by the action in the movie and everybody want to see Fast and the Furious. What do you say to people who maybe feel they've seen too many of these? See this one. This is the one. Don't listen to the reviewers. Go and uh, have your own fun with the movie. I think if you're especially Hispanic, you should definitely go see this movie. It's completely different from the rest of them, so you should definitely give it a try. And I say to all you people who are um, Fast and the Furious fans, you gotta come see this movie. This movie's to die for, for real. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? 10. 9.5. 9. 8.5. 9. 8. Give it a 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. It was a 10. 10 being the highest, I think it was better than 10. 11. Can we put 12? <laughs> yes, you can. So I say 12. Excellent. The theaters are filling up fast. However, audiences are anything but furious as they give this movie a 10. And two weeks ago, I announced my goal to get 1,000 friends on Facebook. And on Monday, we did it. So far, me and my 1,000 plus friends have been talking about the copy of Wolverine that leaked online and the Bruno trailer. Thanks again to everyone who friended me, and I'm having a great time discussing movies with you. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.